I was desperate for a job. I was in my final years of college, and I had lots of student loans built up. As soon as I saw the night guard job advert in the local newspaper, I knew I was fit for the job. I usually stay up late each night anyways, so it won't make a difference to my schedule. I realized I could also just chill on my phone the whole shift and get paid for it. We had a small local subway station for our town. It only had one platform and few trains ever went there. The subway station itself was very old and used by the local town people. Recently, the old night guard for the subway station had retired and they needed someone to take over the position. As soon as I called, they immediately hired me. Looks like this wasn't a popular job. Let me give you a little description of the subway station. I've only ever been to the station a few times. So basically, you walk down the stairs to get to the subway. Yes, it's underground. Then you will see the long tracks extending forever on either side of you, and also a short platform for boarding the train. On the platform to the right would be a ticket and also a security guard booth. Nowadays, you can just tap your metro card, so the booth was used as a security guard booth. Since it was an old subway station, the lighting also wasn't very good. It was very poorly lit and had a very creepy vibe to it. There were shadows everywhere, and the light was so dim it took your eyes a while to adjust and to be able to see your surroundings. So anyways, here I was now making my way to my little security guard booth. The day guard shook hands with me as he left and wished me good luck. Who the hell wishes you good luck as they leave you to your shift? I ignored it and got myself settled. I read through the boring instruction manual that outlined basic evacuation procedures and what to do in unlikely scenarios like a bomb threat. My shift was from 10pm to 5am. I was about to just go on my phone and scroll through Reddit when my eyes caught on a single piece of paper. It was titled must read important rules the title was overwhelming and written in big red blocky letters i picked up the sheet and read it this is what it said if you see a man in a black tuxedo and bright red leather bag walk in asking for a ticket say i don't work here and immediately turn around he will not be there when you turn back around if you see a black figure in camera number four, quickly look away and never look at the camera again. If you start hearing whistling, get out immediately. Around 12 a.m., if you see a woman with an umbrella come into the subway station, she will be walking facing away from you. Do not, under any circumstances, try to look at the woman's face. If you see yourself, staring at you from any of the cameras. Immediately cover up that camera. You may hear yourself speaking, telling yourself to come out. Stay put in your booth and do not come out. If the door to your booth starts shaking and starts to open, push the door closed as hard as you can. Do not let the door open. An extension to rule four. If you see yourself staring at you, from the booth window, immediately look away and hold that door shut as hard as you can. If you notice that the clock on the wall has stopped working, immediately hide under the desk and do not come out until you start hearing the ticking of the clock again. At 3.03 a.m., a weird looking train will come. You will hear it from its distinct horn that doesn't sound like any other train. Carefully look out and see if anyone steps out of the train. If you see a single person depart from that train, immediately grab the handgun in your drawer and shoot them, no matter who the person is. If the train departs and you still haven't shot the person, it is too late. Your clock, phone or any device that shows the time will try to deceive you. They will show the time incorrectly and instead 
show your shift end time. They are trying to get you to come out. If you feel like the time isn't right, stay put in your booth and wait until morning and you see people walking into the subway station. Apart from the weird train that will come, you should only see one other normal train arrive at the station at exactly 11 p.m. That will be the last train until 5 a.m. If you see any other train arrive at the station, hide in your booth and wait it out until morning. If you break any of the above underlined rules, we are no longer responsible for your safety. We will nonetheless come to collect you in the morning. The safest place in the station, if you break any of these rules, is on the tracks. The subway management team. The rules sounded totally fake. Suddenly, a man in a black tuxedo came inside the station. He knocked on the glass. My heartbeat flew like a plane as I saw the man in the black tuxedo ask me for a ticket. My body was suddenly frozen on the spot. I was unable to speak. My voice got trapped in my throat. I barely managed to choke out. No, I don't work here. The man suddenly seemed confused. His face slowly got even more distorted. His left eye got larger and larger, his nose bent at awkward angles, and his mouth twisted impossibly long. I grimaced at the sight and nearly threw up my dinner on the floor. The man turned away and literally crawled out of the station. Before his body got so messed up, he'd be unable to move. Well, I just experienced the first rule. I'll update you throughout the night. I'm definitely not coming back after this shift. Thank you for listening. If you like what you heard, consider subscribing, or listen to another episode or series. Shout out to Reddit user, not necessarily, for providing this episode and series. His whole series can be found in the link below.